For practice it, self-check 3.3, oops, three errors. We are told that the following program contains nine errors. We need to correct the errors and submit a working version of the program. The corrected version should, of the program should produce the following output, which is this. First thing we can look at is our is, is going line by line, and we can see that in our second line, we need to have a string args in our main method. We can look at all of these values, and these look correct. However, we don't have a y. We need a y here, so we need to declare a y and set that equal to seems that it wants us it seems that it wants y to be equal to 8, so we'll set it equal to 8. Next, um, this line right here is not valid because our method is taking in two doubles and not two strings. So we'll take out that line. And when we pass things in to our method, we do not need to state what type it is. So we're just passing in x and y. But when we are in our method, in the parameters, we need to state what kind of variable it is. So we'll do that. And we are printing out x, y this first time. That looks good. And then in our next, we are printing out x. And then we are also printing out um, bubble, the value stored in bubble. So we're not printing out bubble itself, but we're printing out the value stored in bubble. So we are passing, this is called passing bubble into our method with this statement, with this method call, and it is going to print out here. We can see that this line only prints once, and it doesn't print the first time we call our method, so we can take this out and paste it in our main method after the second method call. Next, we see that our system.out.print line right here prints out z, which is equal to 5. However, z is declared in our method. We cannot have this because it's undeclared in our main method. So we need to put this in here with our variables, and we can just write it out like this. We can submit this and see if this is a corrected version or not. We also need to get rid of this double x because we can't declare something like this. It's already declared. And then we pass the test once we move everything around. So this is the correct code. We were given incorrect code and now we corrected the code to be this, which gives us the output that we were given.